Animal House with John Belushi, man. Wait, that's Cheech and Chong. With. I don't know how to do John Belushi. What kind of makes me mad about this is they keep redoing it. First, there's a collector's edition. Then you got this edition. Then all of a sudden, just about the beginning of January, they came out with a 30th anniversary edition. It's like, make up your mind. But yeah, that's a funny one. In fact, so funny, it's funny. Um, The Bachelor, I never saw this. This would be something my mom would watch or something. I'd see if I could get through that. Here's a remake. Bad News Bears. It was funny. A lot of people would be like, eh. But it was, it was actually okay, but... For some reason, I was never a big Billy Bob Thornton fan, for some reason. Yeah, but... And then he got yet another Billy Bob Thornton film. Bad Santa. And it gets kind of... The thing that's kind of sad about this is because... It's Bernie Mac just died. Um... John Render just died, or not just, but five years ago or something. And it's just like everybody's dying from this movie. It's like Billy Bob Thornton's a curse or something, because Jim Varney's dead, and he played in, he played with Jim Varney. Eric? And, yeah? Eric, go to for a little bit. Okay. How'd you do on your exam? I did really bad. What? I'm hoping you did good. Okay. Alright, um, yeah, so, it's, it's funny, though, if you like negative Christmas movies. Yep, not very positive, but, this I watched maybe a, two, two years ago or so, The Banger Sisters, um, with Goldie Hawn, this was her last film, can you believe it? And she does not look 57 there, can you believe she's 56 or 57 there? <sighs> she's looking pretty good for that, I gotta say. And then you got Susan Sarandon. Those dirty little girls, them. I never saw the first barber shop. I know, I know, I need to watch it, but this one was real hilarious. I mean, this movie's really funny. Check it out for sure. I don't care if it is a sequel. And you got Beavis and Butthead Do America. Hilarious. This is a. I used to watch this all the time when I was little. Um, definitely a classic. Then you got Be Dazzled. The problem with this film is, I've seen it like years ago, but it was on VHS. And that was like the only... When my mom owned the video store, it was like on the other side of town or something. Well, we lived here, and it's down there other ways, and, you know, and this is, like, the only film we had in the house. The only VHS. I mean, and I just watched it over and over, and it was getting so boring, and it was just like, oh, my gosh. And eventually, I was, like, reciting the lines why, why they were saying them. I was just like, it was like I was in the movie or something. But, yeah. I gotta get go get some more, so see I'm supposed to see that um Beverly Hills Ninja Chris Farley Sorry you're dead man it, it was I love this movie, it's hilarious. That furnace And I'm sorry if I'm annoying you, I'm just really getting into these DVD update things now. But if you think I'm annoying, just all you gotta do is turn me off. <laughs> yeah, but really funny though. Chris rocks in it actually. Yeah. And you know what? I was looking. Check out my celebrities we lost thing. That's pretty cool, I suppose. It wasn't the greatest song choice, but anyway, I was looking up some pics for this guy, Chris Farley, and I was looking at it on web search on Google. 
and I came across this really disturbing picture of him lying on the ground with like this ooze coming out of his mouth and everything. And I was like, is that real? And I couldn't figure it out. And it is. Apparently it is. It's really disturbing. This one was okay. The Big Bounce with Owen Wilson, Morgan Freeman, Gary Sneeze, Sarah Foster, Vinnie Jones, and Charlie Sheen. Willie Nelson's in it, and also Harry Dean Stanton's in it. But did that make it a good movie? Not necessarily. It was just alright. Um, I don't know how to explain it. It was like a setup or something, some kind of scheme kind of thing going on. If you can find it for cheap, I guess you could check it out, though. Now, this movie I really love, and a lot of people didn't like, Big Bully. With This wasn't his last movie, Rick Moranis, but it was close to it. Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves, I believe, was his last one. And I remember I went to Disney World once, and we watched the uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, the thing where they actually do it. Not live or anything, but it was kind of cool to see. Yeah. Tom Arnold, it's pretty funny in this. Uh, you got Don Knott, Don Knotts is in it. He's real funny. Um, yeah, but pretty good. I suggest that's kind of a must own, actually. I don't know. I think I might have showed this. Big Daddy, another Adam Sandler film. Funny, very funny, I must say. Extremely funny. I showed this one, I know. Big Lebowski. Awesome movie. And you got Martin Lawrence in Big Mama's House. How many more films are they going to make about people dressing up as women? I mean, guys. I mean, you got Some Like It Hot, Tootsie, Mrs. Doubtfire. Everybody wants to be a woman these days. Big Mama's House. It's funny. It really is. I really like that movie. Then you got the sequel. Big Mama's House 2. Um, yeah. It actually was alright. I remember now. It was, it was funny. Pretty good. Another Martin Lawrence film. Black Knight. I watched this years ago or so. I didn't like it much. For some reason. Another Chris 